What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this the button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, cups uh, for Pisces, for Pisces for August of 2022. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug the message or messages into your own particular life. However, they resonate and apply for you, Pisces. Uh, everybody be the leader of your own intuition and discernment and like I said you only plug the message or messages in to your own particular life situation how they resonate and apply for you love and appreciate each and every one of you guys this could resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your charts Sun Moon Rising Venus or Thumb and Hammer your charts love you guys all right lion time to act bow you are highly thought of dragon beware self-delusion I did receive some channel messages as I was uh, meditating on your energy for August of 2022, Pisces. There were several of them. The first one I heard um, um, public assistance. I heard public assistance. I heard a new coworker. Public assistance, a new coworker. There are several several of them. So give me a second. Public assistance, a new coworker. Um. Oh, someone else's mother is about to become significant in Pisces life. For some, you're a counselor and a therapist. Um, and what was the other one? I can't think of the other one. I can't think of the other one. You plug it in, how it resonates. So, um, public assistance. So, energies can be reversed. So, this could be you getting on public assistance or about to get on public assistance. Or someone you're connected to. Uh, a new co-worker. It could be your new co-worker. Or somebody you're connected to's new co-worker. Someone else's mother is about to become significant in Pisces life. So it's not your mother. It's somebody your, somebody else's mother. And for one of you guys, you're a counselor and a therapist. So you plug that in. How that resonates. So you get paid the big bucks to put people on your couch. Basically. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates for the count, uh, whoever these are for, but one of you guys is a counselor and a therapist. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Pisces. Spirit messages. Uh -huh. Fine. One, you're an LPN. One, you're an RN. One, you're LPN. One, you're RN. One, you're licensed massage therapist. And one, you're licensed massage therapist. And one, you're a hairstylist. Okay. So a lot of occupations in here. One of you guys is a counselor and a therapist. One, you're an RN. One, you're LPN. So registered nurse, licensed practical nurse, or licensed vocational nurse. One, you are a... Um, uh, oh man, I forget the other ones. Um, when you are a, um, oh, licensed massage therapist and, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Those are good, um, occupations. If you're in the upright in those occupations, um, a lot of those occupations are mandatory reporting energy, like the LPN, the RN, the counselor and therapist. Those are mandatory reporters for um, anybody who doesn't know that.
A secret child that has been strategically held from a family member, withheld from a family member for strategic reasons. They're about to find out about the secret child. They already knew about them. They're about to find out publicly. Okay. So a secret child that was strategic, strategic, oh, excuse me, strategically held, withheld from a family member. So they could be strategically withheld from you, Pisces, or you could be strategically withholding a secret child from your family or somebody else's family member. But however that resonates, um, I heard the person already knows about the secret child. They already know about them, but it's about to become very public. Um, how that resonates. I mean, why you strategically withheld, withhold secret children from people unless it's about child support or something of that nature, which you're not, you shouldn't do that. But some people are so greedy. I wouldn't put it past people. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It could be, for some, it could be you withholding the secret child, the information on the secret child. For some, it could be somebody withholding the secret child information on, uh, from you. But how that resonates, whoever this is, whether it's you being the with, um, withheld information being held from you or you withholding it from someone else, they already know about the secret child. They already know. Um, they already know. So if you didn't know that, but they're about, but it's about to come very public. So if they already knew, then they already knew. I mean, obviously, why? my thing is if they already knew, why did somebody make it such a huge deal to strategically hide it? Um, okay, there's a child. Somebody had a child with blah, 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 blah. Okay. The cat's out of the bag. Everybody can move on. And that's the way I look at it. But not everybody's like that. Spirit messages. Okay. Horse. A real part, a real and a fraud is about to be made very, very, very known, very soon, very publicly, very social media public, and very community public. A real and a fraud is about to be known very, very, very public, very social media public, and very um, community public. So you could be the one that's been frauded, Pisces, or you could be the fraud. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, or you can know the fraud or the real, real deal. How that resonates but there's it sounds like a two people somebody has strategically frauded somebody another person somebody strategically frauded the real deal and then we have the fraud but it's about to be distinguished and made clear and well not well known on social media so that could be facebook insta twitter youtube what have you what have you um and in the community so you plug it in how it resonates. I think there might have been confusion in the past. Possibly. Lion, time to add. Bow, you're highly thought of. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. Pond, house, fish, horse, resistance. Number 25 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 25. This could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 25. Uh, for some, you could be dealing with another water sign or an earth sign. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and they're sun, moon, rising. Venus, or them in Hamner Jupiter charts if you are Pisces. There's about to be a not a wrongful termination soon. It's about to shock you. There's about to be not a wrongful termination soon. It's about to shock you, is what I heard. So. You plug in how it resonates. This could be you get not, not wrongfully terminated or it could be somebody else. But somebody's about to get not wrongfully terminated and not wrongfully terminated means there's a substantial reason they're getting terminated. Not just Nick picky shit. Not, not um, um, strategically trying to get this person out or nitpicky shit. I mean like huge screw ups like sexual harassment or discrimination or um or something of that nature like huge lawsuit type things um or it could be dr drunk on the job drugs doing it with a co-worker in a blue room closet i mean huge things 
or some kind of abuse of a coworker or somebody else. Um, a huge substantial thing to where they should be terminated, basically. Huge. Um, that's a not a wrongful termination. Because usually, if you're going to terminate somebody, usually through a company, and it's not a wrongful one, it's either a huge thing or they have a very long paperwork, paperwork trail on you to where you, um, um, you've been reprimanded and reprimanded and reprimanded, like counseling sessions, verbal counseling or sit down counseling or what have you, what have you sessions. And over like a long period of time, but nothing ever, but it didn't get better. It didn't get better. It didn't get better like a long paperwork trail like the employee did not try to make things better and the company tried and tried and tried but it didn't um it didn't work basically um because the employee did not put the time effort and energy in manifesting themselves correctly to fix the problems that's uh, that's a not a wrongful termination too what happened to me in may was definitely a wrong, wrongful termination for real for real but i'm just trying to give you an example an example of the not wrongful ones but whatever this is it is not wrongful so i feel they might could, be, could have been there maybe five years ten years something like that and there's just like a huge freaking paper trail of wrongdoings and um infractions and they're not trying to make it better and blah 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 or they're sleeping with a co-worker in the broom closet. There's sexual harassment towards employee or employees. There's discrimination. Somebody went to the EEOC or they're about to. I mean, huge ass things is what I'm saying. Huge things. This could be you or somebody you're connected to. You plug it in how it resonates. Fish. Sex of a child is about to be known soon. Sex of a child is about to be known soon. Well, congratulations. If you're the one pregnant, sex of a child is about to be known soon. So, um, I'm, I'm presuming this is probably like your 20 week ish ultrasound, um, to figure out the sex of the baby. At least it was 20 weeks when I was pregnant, but it's been a long, long time since I've been pregnant. A long time. So they might have changed it. Maybe it's not 20 weeks anymore, but it was when I was pregnant a long, many moons ago. Um, 20 weeks uh, was when you found out the sex of your baby through ultrasound. Um, it could be you finding out the sex of your baby or somebody you're connected to. Somebody's about to find out the sex of their baby. They're about to find out what sex their little fish is in the womb. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, I feel you could have impregnated this person or somebody could have impregnated you or it's somebody you're connected to. For some, you could be a counselor or a therapist about to find, find this out. Possibly. Because we have counselor and therapist energy in here. We have RN, LPN energy in here. Um, however, you plug into somebody about to find out the sex of their child if it's not you or you've impregnated this person. And water sports. And water sports. And water sports. So somebody's about to find out the sex of their baby in some kind of water sports. Water sports are so fun. I love it. Um, this could be you participating in water sports or somebody you're connected to. Some kind of water sports energy. Um, I can't wait till I can get out and have the money and afford to get out and get me and my kids out to do some water sports. I'm feeling like skiing or um, skiing or water skiing. Not snow skiing, water skiing, or um, 
maybe pool sports, um, Marco Polo, or something like that. Um, something involving the water it could be pond um it could be pond or um, river or chlorinated pool or what have you what have you uh, some kind of water sports um diving like a fish swimming like a fish it could be you or somebody you're connected to i love it of course A very immature earth sign is about to leave an open container for some an open container for some drugs at your home. It is about to create many horrible negative series of chain of events for you. Many. It's about to blindside the hell out of you. Oh, my God. We have fish. Somebody needs to watch out who the hell they're hanging around. I'll tell you that right now. Um, earth sign masculine. Earth sign masculine is what I heard. So a very immature earth sign masculine. So a very immature Taurus Capricorn Virgo. One of you guys is, and it, it's, I heard your home. So your house. Um, very immature Taurus Capricorn Virgo. Now, they can be 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, and be immature. They can be any age. It's not about physical age. It's about physical, um, it's about immaturity here. And they're very immature. So much so they use drugs or drugs. They either use drugs or alcohol, or both. Um, whoever this earth sign masculine is, I think this is your earth sign masculine, uh, very mentally immature. I heard um, for some of these earth sign masculines, they're about to leave drugs at your house. For some, they're about to leave alcohol at your house. For some, they could leave both, the, both at your house. But they're about to leave them at your house. And I heard once they leave them at your house, somehow after they leave them at your house, it's going to create many negative series of chain of events for you oh um i feel for some you might have kids you might have kids and um i wonder if child protective services is going to get called somebody comes in and finds these drugs or alcohol open containers or something or beer cans smashed everywhere or shots 20 shots out swallowed shot over everywhere or what have you what have you and coke all over the coffee table or what have you what have you and then they call child protective services i mean i don't know i don't know i didn't hear any of that but somehow this earth sign immature earth sign leaving drugs or alcohol or both at your house your home is about to create many negative series of chain of events for you i think you were very deluded about this uh immature earth sign very deluded about them it's a immature earth sign masculine and i think you're going to need to act I, I think the police or child protective services or something like this is about to get involved. Let me see if I hear anything else. If I was you, Pisces, whoever this is for, I'd be setting some boundaries. Because this person obviously is not a good grower and manifester. This person likes to bring people down. Things are about to start happening fast with this. Fast, fast, fast. You will not get out of it this time. The immature earth sign will be reprimanded too. Things are about to start happening fast, fast, fast. You will not get out of it this time. And the immature earth sign will be reprimanded too. So I think you were very delusional about this earth sign. I think you wanted to believe the best in them, but yet you still allow drugs and alcohol around and you know this person does drugs and alcohol nay nay you've got to set your boundaries man um i heard you're not going to get out of it this time and neither is he um i think somebody else is about to come in and find all this alcohol splayed everywhere or all these drugs splayed everywhere in your house that's exactly what i think pisces that's for one of you guys you plug it in how it resonates if this ain't for you this ain't for you that's your horse energy your younger not younger, your immature earth sign dude that likes to bring, that disrespects you by bringing um, drugs and alcohol up in your home. I feel you can be a masculine or feminine, but this dude is not a, a good person to be around. And that's just the truth. Flying, time to act.
Our private investigation is about to become very significant into Pisces life. For one, you're a lawyer. For one, you're being investigated. For one, you're helping investigate. Okay, I heard a private investigator is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. For one, you're a lawyer. So I think you're dealing with client or clients that is putting out this investigation or is being investigated. For one, you are the one being investigated. And for one, you are um, helping with the investigation. So I think with the private investigation, you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. Bo, you are highly thought of. High honor coming for a high, very high vibrational Piscean. Single parent. You have not been recognized. Not at all. But you're about to be. You deserve this about five to ten years ago. And you never got it. Some you're in your 20s. Some you're in your 40s. Some you're in your 50s. Okay. Well, congratulations, Pisces single parent. For some you're in your 20s. For some you're in your uh, 40s. Some you're in your 50s. You're a Piscean single parent. Heard for some of you guys, you deserve this high honor years ago. Five to ten years ago. So for some, you're in your 20s, some you're in your 40s, some you're in your 50s. Um, but somebody sees your hard work, your effort. I think you, I don't think you have a history of drug use or alcoholism or anything like that. Or if you do, you've been a long time recovering addict. Like you truly are a recovering addict if you were. Um, but I heard you deserve this high honor five to ten years ago. So you deserve this a long time ago. You deserve this reward and recognition, this public recognition a long time ago. But you basically didn't get it because I think other people didn't want you to get it. There's such a single parent stigma out there for some people. Now, some people, they're all about the single parent image. Um, single parents are wonderful. I've been a single parent a really long time. Single parents are great. If you are high vibrational and you're upright, if you're not allowing low vibrational immature earth sign masculines to come around stroll around your home with open containers and alcohol all over the damn place and drugs there's no damn way i'd be allowing somebody like this up in my house and that's just the damn truth no way no way another pisces is getting a huge wake-up call another pisces is getting a huge wake-up call i mean i'm serious you got to use your head and that's just the truth but Whoever you are, single, Pisces, masculine, or femme parent, you have one child or two or two plus children. You're either in your 20s, your 40s, or your 50s. I heard you deserve this high honor a long time ago, but you never got it, and you're about to get it. I feel you're legally single, and you have one child or two or two plus children. Well, that's wonderful, sir, ma'am. That's beautiful. I love supporting single parents because I am a single parent, so I love it. If you do it the right way, and whoever you are, you do it the right way. I love it. You don't steal from people, fraud people, and, you know, allow immature earth sign masculines to stroll around your home with alcohol or drugs. Dragon, beware self-delusion. A Pisces, high vibrational Pisces, is about to call Child Protective Services. Some on si another sign, some on another Pisces. A high vibrational Pisces is about to call Child Protective Services. Some on another Pisces, some on another sign. So um, maybe whoever you are, high vibrational Pisces, you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. And you're about to sum up. One of you guys is about to call it on another Pisces, so a low vibrational Pisces. So somebody that doesn't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Um, that's for one of you guys. One of you guys, you're about to call it on another low vibrational sign. I'm feeling this is true reporting energy. This isn't malicious and spiteful reporting energy. Like, I'll give you an example. Um, 
I have a Child Protective Service report here. I mean, it's already been done. Somebody called Child Protective Services on me about a year or two ago, and the report was, I walk around in my bra and panties. But they called Child Protective Services on me in my home, stating I walked around in my bra and my panties. Well, how the hell you know I'm walking around in my home that I pay mortgage for in my bra and panties? How do you know that, sir, ma'am? Are you spying on me? Just saying, just saying. Um, and if y'all are spying on me, maybe you should quit spying on me and go get a life. Because I'm in my home in my bra and my panties. You know what I'm saying? So that's, those, there's false reports is what I'm trying to say. There's false reports made all the time. That was an erroneous report. report. And I told the Child Protective Service worker that. I was like, the report is, I'm walking around, I asked what the report was, they told me. I was like, okay, so you mean to tell me the report is, I'm walking around my bra and my panties? I pay mortgage on this house every month. How do they know? Unless they're spying on me. Just saying, just saying. So whoever you are, have vibrational Pisces. I think maybe you were deluded about another Pisces or another sign in the past, but I think you're breaking free of that delusion. And you're about to... Um, some of you guys call Child Protective Service on them. Some, I just think you're going to energy shift away from them. I think you're going to energy shift away from them. I, I think maybe you wanted to think one good thing about them or good about them, but you're realizing the real truth. You were so deluded and wanted to believe the best in them that basically you're seeing the real truth, the real evidence, i.e. the evidence of my Child Protective Service call. Of when somebody said, I walk around my bra and my panties. Well, how the hell you know you walk? I walk around my bra and my damn panties. And that's just the truth. Unless you're spying on me. You know? It's, it's, it's just crazy. House. A younger Pisces is about to purchase... Some, their first time home buyer. Some, another home. Well, congratulations. Not stolen money. Not stolen money is what I heard. Well, congratulations. Anytime you're able to, uh, I think houses are wonderful investments. Wonderful. So whoever you are, sir, ma'am, you're a younger Pisces. You can be masculine or femme. You can have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or femme, and hand of Jupiter charts. Any race, any age, well, I heard you're younger, so I feel you're 36, 35 or below, any ethnicity, any um, what have you, what have you. But for some, it's your first time home buyer. For some, you're not. It's two or two plus homes. So actual purchasing of home. I heard it's not on stolen money. So you've earned this money through employment or business or businesses or what have you, what have you. Um, I feel it's upright, high vibrational energy here. I don't feel you're going around prostituting yourself or pimping others or, or, you know, crazy shit like that that I pick up sometimes. I feel it's true earned income, upright income. For some, it's about to be your first home. For some, it is two or two plus homes. I can't wait till I can um, pay this home off, move, and then hopefully get a bomb ass job wherever I move. And then, um, um, start building wealth. I mean, it's hard when you, you get wrongfully terminated in the universe four freaking times in your damn city and it stops your money. It stops your money. It stops your money. It stops your money. And you have mouths to feed. I mean, so who the hell would want to stay in a city that treats them that way? Not I, said the little red hen. Pond. A Gemini, masculine, and Pisces femme relationship is about to be exposed very, very, very publicly. Very publicly. Both low vibrational energies. It's about to mortify the hell out of this Gemini masculine, but it is about to happen. Okay, a Gemini masculine and a Pisces femme. I heard they're both low vibrational. It's about to be revealed by someone they never would have thought to reveal it, but it is about to happen. Okay. 
These are both low vibrational energy. So I feel for some, maybe you're going to reveal this Pisces, high vibrational Pisces, or another high vibrational sign. But somebody's about to reveal this relationship of this low vibrational Gemini and this low vibrational Pisces. Um, they can have Gemini or Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter charts. Somebody high vibrational is about to reveal it. I heard these people never thought this person would reveal it, but they are about to. I think these people were banking on the fact that this people of this person wasn't about to reveal it, honestly, because it's been hidden all this time. But shocker, it's about to happen. This person's about to do it. Um, I don't know why people hide crap like this anyways. I mean, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to hide. But these people do. I feel for some it could be a sexual connection or a hidden, maybe it's a like secret child mess. Uh, maybe they have a secret child together. I don't know. Or maybe it's something else, but it's something low vibrational to where they, they don't want the public to know about their relationship, whether it's platonic or uh, romantic. It's a low vibrational Pisces, low vibrational Gemini. They could have Pisces or Gemini in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, Jupiter charts. Somebody's about to reveal it, whether it's a high vibrational Pisces or another sign. You plug it in how it resonates. It is about to go very, 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 very badly for both these people. Very badly. It's about to go very, very, very badly for both these people. Very badly. So it's about to go very badly for both of these people when this person reveals this relationship. Kudos to this person, whether this person has Pisces in their chart or not. Just saying. I mean... What, what was done in the dark should come to the light. And there's the strategic reason they're hiding this relationship. Pun. A swimming pool is about to become significant in a Pisces life. A swimming pool is about to become significant in Pisces' life. A swimming pool is about to become significant in Pisces' life. So congratulations to you, sir, ma'am. I feel you, for some, you could be purchasing one. For some, you could know somebody that's purchasing one. For some, you could already have one. For some, you could go over, um, you could go over somebody's house that has a swimming pool. Uh, however that resonates, Pisces. Um, or you could go to a public pool. However that resonates. I don't like swimming pools in my house. I don't. I had one when I first purchased this home and I, I tore it down because I don't like to have to go out there and re maintain it and upkeep it. I would rather pay the fee and go to the YMCA. But everybody's different. My neighbor by, um, directly behind me, she has a swimming pool. She gets out there. She maintains hers. She swims in hers. That's her choice. My choice is to pay the fee to go to the YMCA when I can pay the fee. And that's just the truth. But everybody's different. But somehow, a swimming pool is significant in your life. Whether you own one, you're about to purchase one... Somebody you're connected to owns one and is about to purchase one or you're about to go to a friend's house or go to the YMCA or uh, what have you, what have you. you or the local pool or what have you. You plug it in, how it resonates. Resistance. Grease, I just heard grease lightning. Grease lightning? I don't know. I don't know if that has to do with resistance. Grease lightning. I think of that song, Grease Lightning, by, um, um, uh, what is it? Is it Grease? Grease Lightning, um, for the movie Grease with John Travolta and, uh, Olivia Newton John. That's what I think of. I just heard Grease Lightning, though. I didn't hear the song Grease Lightning, like a channel song. I didn't, I just heard Grease Lightning. Maybe some of you guys has something named Grease Lightning or you are nicknamed Grease Lightning or somehow Grease Lightning is significant to at least one of you guys in some shape, form, or fashion. I think something might be named Grease Lightning or you named something Grease Lightning or a pet. I mean, I don't know. Only you know what Grease Lightning means, not anybody else. I would love to know in the comment section below if um, that resonates for anybody because I have no clue. All right, resistance. All 
A particular low vibrational Pisces does not want a Leo to move, but they are about to move. But you don't want them to move for greedy reasons. And let me tell you, your ass is about to get caught. Whoa. Okay, I heard a particular low vibrational Pisces does not want a uh, Leo to move, but I heard uh, this Leo is going to move anyways. So they're going to move anyways, whether this low vibrational Pisces doesn't want him to move or not. I heard it strictly for uh, greed reasons. So I think this low vibrational Pisces has been stealing from this uh, Leo. I think they've been stealing from him. And I heard this person's about to get caught soon. They're about to get caught in a way you would have never expected. And it's about to be a lot of people know this. In a way you would have never expected. And it's about to be a lot of people. So I think you've been resisting getting caught. You're a thief. You're a thief. Low vibrational. Just for one. Hopefully just one person. Um, I don't think all you guys are by any stretch. But this is just one. This is one person I'm pulling in. One low vibrational frauder, thiefer, Pisces. They love to steal. They love to fraud. They have no qualms about it. But their ass is about to get caught. And I heard by a lot of people. So, whoever this person is, I don't steal and I don't fraud. So, whoever that person is and how they apply. And I do have Pisces in my chart. But, do I steal and fraud? No. That's true. Spirit messages you have to collect in. Gift. Coffin. Number 17 or 19 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 17 or 19 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 17 or 19. A funeral is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. And an inheritance that was given to the wrong person. A funeral is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. And an inheritance that was given to the wrong person. So I think this is a funeral energy. Physical death energy. This is a funeral energy for one of you guys. I feel you're about to attend this funeral. Or um, be invited to the funeral. Or you could be a person that works at the mortuary. Or the crematory. Or the funeral home. Um, or the cemetery, how that resonates. Um, and for one of you guys, uh, insurance policy, um, I'm sorry, an inheritance that was given to the wrong person is about to become significant in a Pisces life. So I feel um, you could be someone that knows this inheritance was given to the wrong person and you report it. Or you could be the person that was given the inheritance and you weren't supposed to get, uh, get it. Or you could be somebody investigating this or is about to investigate it. Um, how that resonates, Pisces, and then gift. New flip flops, new shoes, new jewelry. And new perfume is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. New flip-flops, new shoes, new jewelry, and um, new perfume is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. So I feel for some, you could be gifting this for somebody, like giving it to somebody as a gift, or somebody can be gifting it to you, or you could be gifting it to yourself. New flip-flops, new shoes, new um, jewelry, and new um, perfume. You plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. Several shocking series of shame events are about to happen for many Pisceans soon. Many Pisceans. Things are about to start speeding up. Either in a very positive way for you or a very negative way. Several shocking series of shame events are about to occur for many Pisceans soon. Um, it's about to either start speeding up in a positive way for you or a negative way. So you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. Love you guys so much. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else will like my channel or the videos. 
please feel free to share them very publicly on social media and word of mouth. Love you guys. Namaste.